This is the little ouchie. It went from selling five units a day to hundreds. And this is the story of how a simple 3D printed resource for autism became a viral sensation. So the little ouchie was created by Craig Buttrick, an engineer that saw an issue in the autism community. Some folks who have autism or PTSD will sometimes pinch or pull hair or hit themselves in order to get the sensory experience that they need. But that obviously can lead to permanent self-harm. So Craig designed the little ouchie. It has circles of small spikes around the outer edge that are able to induce the sensory experience that won't actually do any harm or puncture the skin. So what a person does is they grab it and then they can squeeze as hard as they possibly can and they won't hurt themselves and they can just imprint on their hand and get that sensory experience that they're searching for. Overall, it's a great design. It is really simple on the outside. It's ideal for 3D printing. This texture hides any layer lines if you ever cared about that, so it can be produced very affordably. And it has several geometry characteristics that make it kind of exclusive to 3D printing, which we'll get to in a minute. And all of it has been optimized. It has a chamfer down here on its base layer. The hole is well designed, so there's no danger of elephant footing. It's a really robust design that you can make tens of thousands of very easily with printing and never have to worry about defects really appearing because there's so few things that can go wrong with this design. So in 2024, Craig started posting the videos on TikTok and selling them on TikTok shop, which was fine, but for the first few months, sales were kind of lackluster. But then something happened. Craig posted this video, and this video got 5.6 million views in just a few days. Now this is both great and terrible. To go from selling a certain number of units today to going to about 75X what it was before is an awesome thing for a business. You get to grow suddenly, but it's terrible because he only had five days to actually fulfill those orders. This is because TikTok requires that most orders ship within two days and they will allow up to five days before they actually cancel the order for you. This was an impossible situation. Craig had a viral success, but would not be able to build more machines in time to ride the wave. This is when he reached out to Slant3D and our Teleport team. Teleport would allow Craig to connect his TikTok shop directly into Slant3D's print farms with hundreds of machines immediately on tap, which could then fulfill the orders directly to customers. And not only would the parts be printed, but they would actually be able to be packaged up, have the keychain included, and ready to go so that a customer would get a full and complete item rather than just a 3D printed part in a box or give Craig more work to do after the parts have been printed. And all of this was still done at a cost that would allow Craig to sell the items affordably to people who needed them, but still remain profitable throughout the entire process. We worked with Craig to introduce many new colors throughout the entire process, and he was actually one of the first ones to use third-party components inside of Teleport by just including the simple keychain. But of course, now you can include things like lamps and lights and that kind of stuff along with your 3D printed parts. But there was something that we didn't mention. Craig came down right around Black Friday with the surge of orders that he needed to be fulfilled within four or five days. And Black Friday is not always the best time to be introducing a new viral product because it is the peak season of the year. But ultimately, this had the huge advantage of just the fact that we had so many machines. So since we have our main mega farm spec'd out to hold 3,000 machines, we were able to find the capacity to make sure that Craig's orders were fulfilled on time without losing them or having them be canceled by TikTok throughout the entire process. So he was able to get the ouchie to all the people that needed them and wanted them and was able to ride that viral wave when he never would have been able to before. This is such a great example of what large scale printing can do. Craig was able to have a factory on tap. Without teleport, he would have had to hire more help, build dozens or even hundreds more machines, get material in and get it all shipped out to customers all in five days before orders were canceled. Instead, he was just able to take a breather and upload a model to a system that had all of that standing by. So where are they now? They continue to use Teleport. As Craig has grown the business from what was a viral sensation, he has started to expand it, having different sizes and multiple different iterations, including ones that can hold chapstick, and even just recently released a TPU version. And as Craig continues to use Teleport, it serves to take the overflow and popular items so that he has all the capacity that he needs to scale up, but he can do all the prototyping and iteration on his own machines, as well as creating new things. So then the question comes up of why not molds? Well, the reason is molds are really just worse than 3D. If you look at them from just a design standpoint, when you're looking at the ouchie, there's really not an easy way to mold this. All of the spikes make it really difficult to do a single cavity mold because it basically catches on these ones that are on the side. And now you can do a multi-cavity mold and different sorts of things there, but again, it's not really necessary and it can still be really challenging because of the texture. You also have this through hole. But even more important than that, this is a thick, chunky part. If you were to mold this solid, you would end up with it shrinking as it is ejected 
from the mold and just has a really long cooling time to where it might take a minute or two for this thing to even be ejected. Now you can redesign around that, but it's just a big old engineering process there. And you're never able to actually create multiple versions of this because each one needs the mold cut. So you have really slow iteration time. You don't have a lot of design flexibility and the mold is just expensive. It costs a lot of money to make a mold right up front. Whereas with 3D printing, he's able to plug it straight into teleport and just go with it and start selling immediately. Whether he sells a thousand tomorrow or one over the next 10 years, there's no upfront cost for the mold. But even in addition to that, even if it had been molded in some other factory, had time for it, had them all shipped in, the cost difference is almost negligible because once the part is made with the mold, it might be cheaper for the plastic part itself, but then you have to ship it and then you have to store it. And during that entire time, all of those costs add to the cost of the molded part. Whereas with 3D, you never have inventory, you never have shipping. The part appears when the order appears and then it ships straight out. So it's pure profit from the very first unit. And even just running on the free tier of Teleport, he's able to run his entire business completely passively, and he never has any sort of upfront cost that could damage him or put him in danger, and he can change the design anytime he wants to. Ouchies is one of those really rare products. It is really well designed. It solves a very real problem for a lot of folks. And it was very sincerely marketed so that it could actually take advantage of the viral nature of the world right now to where the people who are interested in your item will get to see it if you make good videos about it that apply to them. It is just a fantastic story and should inspire other entrepreneurs to solve problems in their world and use the tools available to them to deliver them to the rest of the world. Have a great day, everybody.